Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. Getting the president on the record. That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points Memo. It's fascinating to watch the discussion after my talk with President Obama on Sunday. The usual suspects are complaining that I was rude, obnoxious. On the other side, the hard right is moaning that I didn't slam the president to the floor or something. But the vast majority of Americans were given a clear view of some very important issues. The interview was not a debate, it was a discussion. I managed to get the president on the record about some very controversial topics, something that has not been done before. In fact, the New York Post lead editorial today was about the president saying there is not a smidgen of corruption in the IRS. So Mr. Obama is now on the record, a good thing for the country. Now, initial ratings say about 20 million people watched the interview live, with hundreds of millions more seeing it on the World Wide Net. Big. And pretty much everybody knows it. Before the game yesterday, President Obama was interviewed by Bill O'Reilly. And when asked about the IRS scandal, President Obama told O'Reilly there wasn't even a smidgen of corruption at the IRS. You know what that means? Even the President of the United States is afraid of the IRS, okay? <laughs> How scary is that? Oh, I, didn't, I saw nothing! Nothing! Before the show, they had uh, Big Bill O'Reilly talking to uh, President Clinton, and uh, President Clinton, <laughs> yeah, President, President Obama, and uh, well, and that got a little prickly. I thought I didn't see it as prickly. The president was cool throughout, and I did my usual stuff. I pressed him. I wasn't annoyed, and if Mr. Obama was, he certainly didn't show it. Enter the far left zealots who cannot report anything honestly because their job is to distort. This is the third time uh, O'Reilly sat down with the president. By far the roughest and uh, nastiest exchange. Nastiest exchange. That guy is intellectually dishonest flat out. He writes a column for the Washington Post and he spouts nonsense on TV. This is the same guy who appeared on MSNBC dressed up as a hunter in order to mock Vice President Cheney after the shooting accident in South Texas. I mean, really, Washington Post, what are you doing? On a wider front, the mainstream media pretty much ignored or covered the story casually. The best coverage was on the CBS This Morning broadcast, which has emerged as a very good source of information. In a surprising move, CNN almost totally ignored the story. Perhaps they didn't have enough time being a 24-hour news channel. But all in all, we have more information about the President of the United States now than we did before Super Bowl Sunday. And no nastiness was involved.